Okay, so today let's compare the OG Oxygen OS 11 with that of this Chinese Oxygen OS 14.1. We'll try to cover every change like UI, features and other functionalities. So now without wasting any more time, let's start the video. So here in this video, we'll be using these two phones. One is OnePlus 9, which is running Oxygen OS 11. And the second one is OnePlus 12 bar, which is running the latest build of Oxygen OS 14.1. Starting off the first thing, which is recovery. So here you can see towards the left hand side, this is our OnePlus 9, which has this OnePlus logo even in the recovery. But here on this Oxygen OS is 14.1 you can see we only have the option of language nothing else and i do like the recovery which is present on oxygen os 11 due to the additional functionalities what we get you can see we also had the option to wipe caches which is not the case here on this latest recovery of oxygen os 14.1 in boot animation till now nothing have got changed from oxygen os 11 to oxygen os 14.1 everything is exactly same on both the os and now let's find out which os had the better and minimal initial setup i'll also keep telling you guys which thing i like about oxygen os 14 and Oxygen OS 11. You guys also make sure you drop a comment and let us know which thing you do like about that particular OS. And guys, now before moving ahead, if you guys like our content and if you think it's useful for you guys, then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing to our channel. Now, starting off with the first page, here you can see on both the devices we had the similar text, but here we had additional options to choose language, also things like emergency calls and vision settings. And these emergency services at the initial boot screen can come in handy. Instead of start text, on Oxygen OS 14.1, they have made it very simple. Now we have the next section for languages, which I think is not necessary if you can add it on the initial page itself. On Oxygen OS 11, there was nothing like where we have to choose the search engine, but this unwanted stuff have been added here. And when it comes to additional apps, so here we only had the option to install Spotify, nothing else. And we never saw such things like global search, which is again kind of unwanted for me, VDC services, smart suggestions, etc. On both the OS, we used to get the option to join Red Cable Club, and you can see the animation which looks too good. One thing which I never liked on Oxygen OS, for example, if you select the navigation gestures instead of these buttons if you tap on next it was mandatory that you have to use the gestures to know how does it work so this was one unwanted thing which i never liked on oxygen os 11 with oxygen os 14 this has been removed on oxygen os 11 we had very few pages but on oxygen os 14.1 there are multiple pages while setting up your device main home page did not got much of revamped you can see it's kind of similar instead of these circular folders we just have this square folders even with the color os code base home screen did not got much of changes but if you talk about the app drawer, here you can see a lot of things have been changed. And I did like this search engine which was implemented on Oxygen OS 11. It used to search almost everything from your device including contacts, documents and more. But that's not the case here on Oxygen OS 14. It doesn't let you search contacts and other stuff. And you can see another beautiful implementation. If you guys want to do any kind of calculation, you just type in that search tab. The device will automatically show you the results. And these fine touch in the search engine were too good. We had such options like clear history, disable history and the scout feature. As far as I remember, the search engine was called scout. The app drawer was so minimalistic instead of having all these options like manage, these text towards the right hand side, though these makes things easy to search for the applications, but I personally prefer the app drawer which is present on Oxygen OS 11. It also had that minimal transparency with the white background. And when it comes to app drawer, one thing which I still miss and that's the ability to add five icons in the app drawer. You can see that on 11. And here you can take a look at the shelf of OnePlus 11 before and after. And for me, this shelf was a lot better compared to this one. Notification panel looks better on Oxygen OS 14.1 compared to Oxygen OS 11. Because here you get proper segregation of these notifications notifications and every app notification has a different column. On Oxygen OS 11, you can see that smooth transition while the quick setting tiles are shifting and it's a lot better and eye pleasing compared to 14.1. What do you guys have to say? Let me know in the comment section. And the position of brightness slider is way better compared to what we get to see on 14.1. Also if you see the launcher settings, it was so minimal. We had only three options like wallpaper, widgets and home settings. Here they have given lots of options. And even in the launcher settings, we had minimal settings. And how many of if you guys remember the icon packs of Oxygen OS and Hydrogen OS. These things can never be forgotten by a OnePlus fan. How many of you guys still remember this swipe right gesture to open the hidden space application where we can hide the application and it never used to ask password whenever we used to add the applications on Oxygen OS 11. But here first we have to set the password and then add the applications. But for me, this one was a lot better. What do you guys have to say about the status bar icon? Did you guys like the icons present on 11 or icons present on 14.1? And you can see the pop-up menu options. They used to look so beautiful with the smaller text and the icon. On 14.1, it's been enlarged a lot. And whenever you tap, it also blurs the background. And some people may like that, some may not. 
With time, they have added these options like Material U, which is still not fully functional on Oxygen OS 14. Now, let's take a look at the animation change what they have done. Personally, I do like the animation present on Oxygen OS 14.1, but these animations were also loved. They are so fluid and fast compared to 14.1. Here you can see a difference between the settings page on both the OS. You guys let us know in the comment section below which one do you like. Talking about the About section, and again, this about section, OnePlus fans can never forget. You can see it always used to display your device screen and your device information towards the right hand side. Again, a very neat implementation compared to Oxygen OS 14.1. During that time also, we had such options like work-life balance, quick launch, parallel apps, app locker, schedule power on off, pocket mode, OnePlus switch, and the option to reply in landscape. Talking about the customization features, so we had a dedicated section of customizations and let's compare it with the newer one which is called wallpapers and style. The newer customization section looks good because here you had to swipe towards the right hand side to see all the options. And how many of you guys remember this canvas add-on which OnePlus did? Initially OnePlus fans were crazy about this feature. When we talk about the always on display, so OnePlus did not do much of changes compared to Oxygen OS 11. Though there are few new add-ons like Bitmoji, custom pattern, text text and image and omoji. For the accent color options also you can see we had very minimal settings. And when we talk about the font, the Roboto on Oxygen OS 11 used to look so good along with this OnePlus Sans. But now these things are a lot changed. I always like the font which was present on Oxygen OS 11. On Oxygen OS 11, to see the fingerprint animation, we had to add the fingerprint. But that's not the case on Oxygen OS 14.1. Without adding also, you can see what all animations are present. For the edge lightning also, you can see we had so good options towards the bottom side instead of these color palettes which they have mentioned. This is the power menu difference whenever you press the power button. On Oxygen OS 11, we used to see these home controls. Though I do like the newer one compared to previous one. And I also don't like this countdown which appears whenever you set any kind of pin password or face unlock. Why can't OnePlus keep it simple like before? And at last you can see the face unlock and rolling screen. And if you tap on next, this is how it used to appear before and after though the newer one looks quite good. So guys, these are some of the changes which I wanted to mention you guys. And you guys let me know in the comment section below what type of comparison you want between Oxygen OS 11 with that of Oxygen OS 14. We'll do that comparison very soon. And do not forget to mention which feature you like on Oxygen OS 11 and on Oxygen OS 14.1. Right now, this is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.